So it's usually uh, a, an empty airport that we're taxiing around. But with SARA, not only do you hear other aircraft, but you see the other aircraft, and it does give you real-world cues and some good situational awareness as to what's going on in the airport. Aviate 320, surface wind calm. Clear takeoff runway 1. Cleared for takeoff runway 1, Aviate 320. All right, clear for takeoff. Here we go. Clear for takeoff. it does create more of a real world urgency or heightened awareness of where we are and what's going on. You can. We've got an engine one fire. Land ASAP. Washington Center, AVA 320, declaring an emergency. We have an engine fire. AVA 320, roger your emergency. AVA 320, stay in tension. AVA 320, request diversion to Philadelphia. AVA 320, clear to Philadelphia International Airport. Fly heading 040, descend and maintain 5000, altimeter 2992. I would say that, the, you know, the novice definitely benefits from uh, a program like CIRA using this uh, in their professional pilot training. What this is doing for you is allowing you to practice the art of communication and for somebody that wants to be a professional pilot to see what they ha may have to go through and, and do to become a professional is it's an amazing tool. I think it's absolutely amazing. Um, but the advantage of SARA is not just for the students, it is also for the instructor in that the instructor can just let the SARA program run in the background and give the ATC instructions while the instructor can focus on are the pilots following the proper procedures, do I want to give them an emergency at this time, but it also frees up the instructor to concentrate on some of the more important aspects of training.